Uh, Sorry, move I was on to the next question from at Simple Tech. Um, does using a configured Next DNS on your Android make you more fingerprintable? And if not, are there lists of domains to block to make a stock Android more private, like Google, device manufacturer, Facebooks, et cetera? And are there similar lists for de-Googled devices? Next DNS has a uh, like operating system specific list that you can enable. So that's the first thing that I would look into. As far as fingerprinting goes, uh, you you kind of have to understand that the way that fingerprinting works is that anything that you do that stands out is technically going to be fingerprintable. I mean, if people want to like monitor, like if your ISP wants to check what users on our network are using next DNS, for example, they could pretty much easily do that if you're not like protecting yourself from that kind of threat with something like a VPN, for example. So technically, yes, it could make you more fingerprintable if you're using, um, if you're like concerned about browser fingerprinting specifically, there are attacks that people running a website could theoretically do to detect what DNS provider you're using and could maybe figure out that you're using next DNS and could fingerprint you that way. Um, but I think the reality is that for like in the vast majority of cases, fingerprinting with like very trivial technologies like cookies, for example, to keep track of users is so much more easy and um, economical for people to run that nobody even bothers doing all of this other stuff for like day-to-day -day tracking. And if you are concerned about that, you have to take more precautions than just like, even, even just trying to blend in. Because if you don't do anything at all, if you don't use NextDNS, you're still gonna be incredibly unique on your Android advice. So if you're trying to thwart fingerprinting, you have to use things like, um, well, like on desktop, for example, you would use something like Mulved browser to bl blend in with a crowd. Um, and unfortunately there are like less crowds to blend into on the mobile side of things compared to desktop. But um, it's it's really more of a case where I think that you should probably like try and figure out like who you're worried about fingerprinting you in the first place. Like who are you trying to protect yourself from and seeing if you can take steps to prevent those specific risks or those specific threat actors from finding out your data rather than like trying to blend in from every single person um, because it's it's very challenging to do and kind of focusing in on like one specific threat is probably a lot more realistic. Right. I don't know if you have anything to add. Not really. I think it's all great. And I think, uh, again, fingerprinting is so weird. It's hard to research. There's not much research on it. Um, and there's one article I read that was because there's this myth slash misconception. I feel that if you don't touch your browser, you're not fingerprintable because you're using the same settings as everyone else. And that's kind of a myth. Yeah. Uh, there was a whole research article I read that showed that like just Chrome by itself, not touched, is 99% fingerprintable. So Absolutely. like, it, yeah, so there's this misconception that like, oh, because I'm changing things, therefore I'm now becoming more fingerprintable, which yes, in some ways is true, but you're not starting off not fingerprintable either. You have to use very <laughs> dedicated tools that make you blend in with other users or else you are always fingerprintable. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah, it, it depends on where you're starting from because if your baseline is something where you do blend in like Malved browser, then yes, changing things is going to make you deviate from that baseline. But the reality is pretty much no tools besides like Malved browser and Tor browser right now have any focus on fingerprinting whatsoever. So you're, you're always fingerprintable from the get go, no matter what you do. And you can only try and like slightly improve that um, but even, even so, I really don't think that there's a way to become like, as to avoid fingerprinting, um, at the same level as like Mulvet browser or Tor with any normal browser, because it's an impossible task. If you're worried about every single possible fingerprinting outlet, you have to be using a dedicated tool that creates a crowd for you to blend in with like intentionally in order to get like that kind of super advanced levels of privacy. Yeah, agreed. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Here's another clip for you. And if you want to really dive into tech, check out our main channel, TechLore, for a deeper dive into digital rights, privacy, security, and more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.